Hey, it's your boy, Picante the Nino, coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about things that I have been noticing. I have been guild hopping, you know, I'm not ashamed to admit it. But the thing is, is that I'd be joining these guilds and I meet people and they talk. So let's just roll the intro and then we'll speak about the topic that we're trying to get to today. Mm. Okay, so whenever I join these guilds, they're usually, you know, guilds that don't do a lot of PvP. Because I'm not a guy that does a lot of PvP. Because, number one, I like to do things and my schedule doesn't match up with Nodeware's schedule. Which kind of sucks because I do love the content of PvP. So usually I end up joining guilds that don't have an emphasis on PvP. And I meet these people who are getting brand new into the game. They're barely starting off with the game barely. And they always ask the question, what is the best class that I could be useful on? Or what is the gear score that I need so I can start becoming useful? And then usually I don't answer the question immediately. I just let everyone else process the question. And then they just go straight into it. And they start giving them a bunch of answers. Oh, you should play Lan, Succession Zerker, blah, blah, blah. 700 gear scores for PvP. All this other stuff and for me i'm just like people who ask that question want to become immediately useful upon playing the game and i feel like that kind of takes away the fun of bdo you do not play bdo to immediately become useful and what i mean by that is that this game is big bro i've been playing this game for eight whole years okay and if i came into this game while this game has been out for eight years, there's eight years of content, and I barely get into the game right now, I need to catch up eight years to be around the, the useful level that everyone else is at. No, you're not going to get there in any reasonable amount of time. So usually, whenever people come in with that thing, they're usually going to quit because they're going to see that they have to climb this big mountain. And what I usually recommend these people is, number one, just have fun with the game. Have fun with the game. But... It, there's this book that I read, it's called The Four Agreements, and these are the agreements that I usually tend to live by, kind of loosely. The second agreement is the one that I really want to talk about, and the second agreement is do not take things personally. So there's a lot of stuff on that, but do not take things too personally is, means that yes, they kind of feel useless at the time because they're a beginner player, and that they feel like no one wants to run content with them. No. Like, don't take it personally that you're a low gear score player. Like, have fun with the game. You're gonna get there. For me, I'm high gear score myself, but I didn't get there because it's like, yes, I want to get high gear score. No, it's more like, oh, there's some content that's coming out. I would kind of like to check it out, but we're not gonna push ourselves too much. We're just gonna go do things that we find fun, which right now, what I find fun is trying to get the treasure piece at Tungrad Ruins. That's great, right? I grind there almost every single day. Especially during this drop rate event, phenomenal. 50% item drop rate, I love it, I love it. But that's what I do. And then, you know, the secondary sub of that is I get money so I can start enhancing and I magically you just get gear, right? But yeah, like, don't take two things too personally. And usually the book on the second agreement is like, if someone's walking down the street and they just call you like a, a random generic thing like hey look you look dumb are you good and then you take it personally right whenever you take things personally it makes it where you actually believe whatever that person said it is not your fault that they said that to you right like hey you look dumb it's not your fault that you look dumb it's just to them that you look dumb so it's not a you problem it's a them problem right same thing comes with bdo if someone walks up to you in game or in your guild chances Oh yeah, Berserker. You play Berserker? Berserker's so OP or it's such a bad class. You should reroll. Well, is it a me problem that I'm playing a bad class? Or is it a them problem because they think that they are playing a bad class? Right? It's a them problem. Play whatever you want. These new players instantly want to be needed. You know, wanting to be the guy that people come to. And it's really not the case. Just enjoy the game for what it is, right? Gear score will come. Don't worry about gear score. Play the game however you want to play it. 
That's why you never take things personally. Do not take things personally. Because if you start taking things personally, you're going to start believing all those little things that people are giving to you, you know? Oh, you're bad at the class. Oh, you should reroll. Oh, the guild is dead. You know? Oh, you don't have enough gear score to do it. Eventually you will. Just have fun with the game, you guys. Rule number one, have fun with the game. Don't take things too personally. There's a lot of things in the game that people take personally, right? Like number one, uh, whenever you enhance and something fails and then you get butthurt about it, right? I've been there. We all been there. We all gotten butthurt about failing an enhancement. We all done it. I failed a pen the Breca without Krons on stream. Of course, I was a little bit like, mm, that kind of sucks, right? But like, and the overall thing, it really didn't affect my mood that much because number one, I see it like this. Whenever I enhance, I always say it like this. I have the opportunity to attempt this enhancement. Not that many people could be enhancing Pendle Breca without Krons. All right, man. Go to pen for me! Mm. And caring, right? There's not that many people who will be in your situation. So there is a lot of ways you could turn it around so you don't get burned out about BDO. Who cares if you're low gear score? Who cares if you don't play the class that everyone wants? Just play whatever you feel like is having fun. The whole generality of things is let's have fun with the game. I've been playing this game for eight whole years and I would have quit if I just actually cared about what everything was doing, my gear score, how people thought about me in game, if people thought I was a good player or not. I remember starting this YouTube channel, teaching people how to play Berserker. And there was a lot of people who literally didn't like the way how I taught Zerker because it was very rudimentary and not advanced at all. And they thought I was bad at Zerker. And honestly, I don't think I'm good at Zerker. I think I'm just there in the middle. And they, they, they would just talk some mad smack. And then when they actually met me without knowing that they actually met me, they get the smoke or I get the smoke. It really doesn't matter. But at that point, like, I don't let things affect me that like that. And BDO... You need to have like a strong mindset if you want to progress in the game. You know, you gotta let let things affect you. You can't let past failures affect you. You can't let your friends passing you up on gear square affect you. My number one rule that I go against is whenever I see any of my friends get some gains, dude, I cheer them off. I don't be like, man, why can't I get it in two attempts like they did? Like, of course, people are gonna call you RNG carried, and then. I used to get offended like that whenever I was a beginner player in BDO when people were like, Man, Picante, you're so RNG carried, nothing phases you, you're just everything's just handed to you. And I'm just like, wait, 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 wait. No, I tried I worked my ass off for this. I genuinely worked my ass off to get these enhancements, and I used to go back and forth with that. Now no more I really don't care. Like, people call me RNG carried? Okay, I am. People don't call me RNG carried? Okay, I'm not. Like, that, that that's what it is. Just don't get affected, man. People call you RNG carry. That's fine. That's fine. You know, don't 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 let it ruin your mood. You know. And so with this, you guys speaking about don't letting things don't take things too personally, right? We're gonna switch over to the BDO cam, and we're just going to enhance some boots, man. So we know a 150 stack on some boots. I need. I forgot to unlock them. Uh, give me a second. Uh, this I've been trying to hit forever. This is actually a pretty big enhancement because if I hit it, it goes to... I get to go to 740 gear score, which is... I kind of like that number. I don't know if that number is going to help me out at all, but why not, right? Like, let's just enhance it. And if it doesn't go, cool. And if it does, amazing, right? But it's not going to hurt us too, too much. But just to make the point, right? We're not going to take it personally, even if it's positive or negative. We only accept the facts. And with that, you guys, I appreciate you guys stopping by the video. And let's have a good one.